back to that I want to show the rest of it we'll do that last as promised wow this was nice find United States of America war ration book one book four Dollar, 1861. Of course, you saw this earlier. It said my wedding band. This is 14 carat. That is a heck of a find. That's my second gold ring in about two weeks. Foreign proof set or uncirculated set, New Zealand. Some more war rations. A hundred Dixie bucks. I don't know how much that's worth. Probably nothing. Save now with pay less gas. Oh. Gas stamps. Premium stamps. I think we got something here. Premium stamps. Vietnam. Yes. Vietnamese money. Saudi money. Yen. And here we get some old, here's a Hawaiian dollar. It's Hawaii. It says Hawaii on the back. Two dollars. Red ink seal of uh, the year. 1953. Condition isn't all that great, but these are sure collectible. And by God, they're worth at least what it says on there. Here's another one. 1928. Japanese government, 100 pesos. Red ink, $2 bill again. Partial. That says for use in United States military establishments. And here's a nickel. Japanese one peso. Japanese government ten pesos. Deutschland. What's this? This one's in bad shape, it's Franks. Saudis. I recognize I've had those before. Bank of Guatemala. I've had that before. Huh. Germany? Germany? Or Saudi. I think the Saudi. Oh. Saddam Hussein. I bet that's worth a bunch. Okay, this is just. More of the same repeats. Oh, let me get these for they glow away. 
Some of this I'm definitely gonna have to look up. I know I got some value here. Uh, those are good. Let's pour this out as promised. And we know we've. I'm gonna have to weigh this ring. I'm guessing that's right up around two hundred dollars. Oh, these are pouring coin. Let's pour these out. See if we got. I know there's silver. I can see that. There's some silver dollar coins. Let's don't lose any of this stuff. Okay, this is good. Let's put this paper money in here so it doesn't blow away. Oh, old stamps. Look at these old stamps. Let's see here. Let's see, that's just a spoon ring. That's not going to be anything. I've made those myself, so I'm not going to show that. These are all old stamps. I don't know much about those. Some of them are pretty cool, though. Let's see that. Tell how old it is when it was two cents. That was 1898. Something else that doesn't belong. A 1910 Barber Dime. That's nice. 1907 Indian Head Penny. I think I saw that earlier. There's a silver, silver Canadian dime. Oh. It's 925. That's nice. Let's find some more. Here's a, oh, how old that is. 1901 Barber Dime. Recognize that. Indonesia. It's an Indonesian coin. 1955 looks uncirculated. An old Liberty V nickel. Here's a peace dollar. Silver dollar. This is all silver. That's 90% silver. 24. One of the common dates. This is not silver. It's an Ike dollar, same size as the silver dollar. Here's another one, another Ike dollar. Part of a $10 bill. <laughs> Got a ring here. This is, I'm finding out. Oh, that's 925. I don't know if that's going to show. That's 925. That's nice. Here's another Ike dollar. It's the bicentennial. Tiny little. I imagine that might be a real diamond because it's so small. But I don't think that's gold. So I don't know. I'll have to check that. I don't know if that is or not. I'll have to check that. That might be sterling. We'll look later on that one. I didn't bring my jeweler's loop. 1890 Morgan dollar. That's 90% silver. Mortal Kombat Trophy Edition. 18 karat gold plated. Oh, God. Is that a casino $2.50 thing. There's some postage stamps. When the postage was $0.08. Cents. Huh. Some silver. Not sure what that was. Personal. A Liberty Nickel. Oh, there we go. Nine two five. Silver. England. One penny. Buffalo. Buffalo nickel. Oh, here we go. Nine two five. Yeah, there we go. We got another one. It's pretty. Foreign coins. Wheat penny. Philippine silver.
looks like a sterling ring. Maybe that one's not sterling. I don't see that one marked. This one's not sterling. Here's a $5 casino coin. Canadian coin. Oh, worn out silver dollar, 1900. 90% silver. Those are they're $15 a piece. That's a nice find. Another 1900. 90% silver. A UN. 1963. Sol de Oro. Does Oro mean gold? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, some Tuis from Canada. Two dollar coin. There's a couple of them. An 1893 large Indian head penny. I think that's a... Wow, I've never seen that before. Look at that. They aren't that big, guys. <laughs> we'll have to look at that again. Oh, is that gold? Oh. Eighteen carat. Wow. Eighteen carat. Look at that. It's got one opal missing, though. I believe that's an opal. But that's going to be some money there. It's eighteen carat. Okay, just a pork pen that they give out at work, some kind of an accomplishment. Some buffalo nickels, that one doesn't have a date. Ooh, that's got to be a CZ, it's too big. Oh, you know what that is. For, uh, yeah. Here, I love these. 1921, beautiful condition, Morgan. These are great. These are great. God, I'm lucky to find this today. This is great. Here's another one. Oh, look at the tone on this. 1921. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. 1922 Peace Dollar. 19, no, 1921. Morgan. It's very common date, but that's a beautiful coin. That's what money really, really is. Silver and gold. Not paper. That's real money. Another silver dollar, but it's not silver. It's a nice dollar. The right size, but wrong material. Here's a, like a, a uncirculated set from New Zealand. There's a ring. Nothing really special about that one. I don't see any markings. Hawaii dollar. Honolulu. Old Indian head penny. Two dollar. Two dollar coin from somewhere. Where that is. This one I believe is fake. I saw this earlier. I was kind of looking at it. I'll check that out. I don't think it's going This, I believe, it is. Yeah, this is going to end up being gold here. A little bit of weight. There's a 925 sterling. It's a dolphin, I believe. There's another. Okay, that's not sterling. Presidential coin set. A couple of these. Tiny little Roosevelt dime in there. 69. That one's not so. But it, look at that on one side. I've never seen. I've seen these before. I've had these before. Okay, more foreign coins. That's not the man's. Oh, that might be gold. I'll have to test that. T 
1982 D. It's like a plated dime. Some more Ike dollars. Another Ike dollar. Old penny. <coughs> Excuse me. Some foreign money. Nothing much here. Dedicated to freedom, United States of America. Commemorative type coin. And that might not be sterling. Okay. These aren't. Pretty, but let's see, let's dig this out. It's got personal information on it, but there's a 1902 Indian head. Oh, some more foreign money. Saddam Hussein. Baka. I don't know where that's from. Be honest with you. One cent. Government of Hong Kong. All these are uh, centavos. It's, like, it's foreign, little foreign coins. Probably not a whole lot of value here. The collectability is there. So. Here's uh, two grams of pure silver. Nine, nine, nine. That's nice. That's money. Two dollar coin from somewhere. Brass coin. Okay. Hmm. These are marked. This marked Italy. You got it. Not necessarily gold. Not necessarily not gold. Liberty nickel. We'll check that out later. Old uh, Eisenhower stamps. That's what they were using when I was a kid. Yeah. I heard that. that. 1969 Portugal coin turned into a ring. It's an interesting collection. There's a little piece of gold, I think. Yeah, probably. Yes. Okay, I'll have to look at that. Yeah, another poker chip. Some more, a lot of old Indian heads and Lincoln cents. And a Canadian dollar. Yeah, kind of get a whole bunch of silver. No, don't recognize it. Look at silver. It's marked. I believe that's marked sterling. Huh. I've never seen those before. I might have to check those out for more than their silver value. These war ration things are cool. Put that in there. We'll finish up here. That's the find right there. Somebody's wedding man. 14 karat. Upwards, I got $200 in the rest of that. There's another silver dollar, 71. Ike. And it's just random. So let's see if I can find. There's another one of those funny silver things. Foreign silver. This is a good find. I, I mean, I know people find stuff like this a lot, but whenever I find silver and gold, in the same unit, I call it a lick, man. I hit a little bit of a lick here. Man. We're not going to make a ton of money because we get to pay up for the unit. But I think what's here will pay for the unit. And then the rest of it's going to be profit. And there might even be profit here. Uh, dollar coins. American dollar coins. That is. Indian head, I'm sorry, buffalo nickels, Canadian quarters. What are these? Oh, look, arrowhead.
automobile coins. Chevrolet, Detroit Electric, it's automobile coins. I thought that was that. They're all a different automobile. Don't know about the value of those. I'll have to look them up. If anybody knows anything about those, or any of this stuff you want to comment, I love the comments. There's a Susan B. There's just there's another dollar coin. This is full of dollar coins. There's another one. That's crap in cash, guys. Look at that. 1925, two francs. Now that's 925. I don't know what it is. There's another one of those funny. Some Canadian money. Lots of buffalo nickels. And this truck, I, I think it's immaculate, the condition. We're gonna really hold off and get top dollar for this thing. It's really nice. I guess you can get the idea. These are kind of what we've already looked at, just more of them. Plenty of dollar coins. A lot of silver, a little bit of gold. Several rings that are sterling. Oh, wow. 1890. Three cent piece. Wow. 1890 three cent piece. That is incredible. I'm going to put that where I can find it easily. Penny with a chunk out of it. Two dollars coin. All right. All right, guys. All right. I'm gonna finish putting these away, and uh, I think we did really good on this unit. Uh, I'm doing this segment before I go back on the last run so you'll see me go back to the beginning of this video and getting the rest of the stuff I hope that I can find something that's half as good as this in there but I think I've got most of the better stuff but there is some boxes on each side I haven't I haven't dug into yet so anyway like subscribe Share this video. Let's let's get to a thousand subscribers so we can have a chat, and we'll get uh, we'll get IC and J involved, and I'll try to, and we'll have a Q and A chat if when we get after we get to a thousand, and uh, we'll see how that evolves. You know, I don't know anything about all the technical stuff of all this and how it works. I'm sure I'll screw it up. But that's part of it. So anyway, I will see you the next video. Look at him, Douglas.